If the plural of mice is meese, then shouldn't the plural of ice be ease? Huh? School. That was fun. One of my classmates, I'll call him Jish, was known for being short. I mean, he was Asian, like me. So we would make fun of his height, even though he was only like two inches shorter than the average student at the time. But something happened. One time, this kid got himself stuck inside of his locker. There weren't any bullies or anything, it was just that Jish was really dumb, and he was like, huh, I wonder if I could fit inside my locker. So he climbed inside, and... Um, teacher? Anyone? Can somebody help me? I'm too short to reach the lock. Please, help! Teacher! Answer me! So eventually, my other classmate named Jello was strolling down the hall when he heard tiny screams of idiocy. So Jello comes and says, Hey, there's an Asian in his locker, so we go to the teacher to get him out. But, uh, there was just one problem. Just forgot his combo. I forgot my combo. Why? I don't know. Okay. So they sent me over to get the master key from the office. But I mean, like, wh what do you say to the receptionist? So, um, a little boy got himself stuck inside a locker. So, yeah. So we got him out and we made fun of him for the rest of the day. Jish, you're such a midget. So I went on a field trip that was around a beach, and we got on a cruise ship to sail the nations or wherever, and it was really fun. After the boat trip back at the beach, I went down to the bay to look for some crabs. Don't judge me. And so I took the gloves out of my pocket that I stole from the cafeteria and put them on. Side note, plastic gloves is another thing you should keep in your pocket aside from band-aids. Moving on. So I picked up a big rock, and I found the crab, and I was like, ooh, a crab! So I dropped the rock, and... <laughs> <laughs> rock fell on top of my hand, and there was blood everywhere. I lost my fingernail, and I had like 50 band-aids on me, and it really hurt. But I was fine. It's not broken anymore. Band-aids solve everything. And now I have a fear of big rocks. That's just a stupid boulder! It's not just a boulder! It's a rock! So on our last few weeks of school that year came the class party. Yeah! I mean, the definition of party those days was just a movie, and then some, like, food. But that's besides the point. After the party, the teacher went up and said, Okay, does anyone want to help vacuum? <coughs> I'll do it. I don't know why, I don't know how, I don't know- wh Why would I do this to myself? So while the class went out to recess, the teacher, the teacher's pet, and then the other teacher's pet had to clean up the classroom. My job was to vacuum. The only vacuum available was like the old ones with the bag or something, and then the Gen Z child of me was like, What is that? I figured it out, I plugged it in, and I started to work. After I vacuumed like most of the room, I think I took a break or something, and then the teacher's pet took my shift. While I was washing my hands at the sink, I heard a <laughs> And I was like, w w what happened? Apparently, this vacuum was a little old, and the fabric was tearing, so it was about time that it exploded. All my progress. Gone. All of it was now on the floor. The dust was everywhere. Everyone was in shock. Welp. See you later, suckers! <laughs> Around my 8th grade year, I made some more friends. For example, I met Mix, the guy who said that beautiful quote at the beginning. So, I would be around him for around the entire year, and we would hang out, talk about Hamilton, and then talk about how he's literally better than me in every single way. This boy, he does running, rock climbing, responsibility, repeating phrases. Wait, no, that last one was just me. Intelligence, instruments, improv. And so, yeah, he's a very cool dude. But every time he says something stupid, it's very funny. Look at this, there's so many things wrong with this sentence. So I drew that thing like always, and it's cool. Alright, before we get to this last story, I just want to say one thing. This is an opinion! So in our school, and probably most schools, there's this very stupid thing that I disagree with. Technically, it's not allowed at school, but people still do it anyways. You see, people do this thing where the boy and the girl does does the hand thing. It's very scary. Please stop! So people start doing the boyfriend-girlfriend thing, and all of them are exactly the same, and they go a little something like, Oh, Steven, I love you so much. 
Oh, Sally, I love you too. Oh, Steven, let's hold hands. And I think it's very stupid because you're in elementary school dummies, and it's not going to go anywhere. At one point, like the hypocrite I am, I was like, huh, I'm going to do that liking thing too. The answer is no, 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 don't do it. And I see, I see all these other people doing their hand holding, and I say, stop, stop, no touchy. There's this thing called cooties, and it's bad. Don't get me wrong, you can talk to the opposite gender. Just be friends, you don't have to do the, the boy for this. So what's the lesson of the story? Don't be stupid, always keep gloves in your pocket, use modern vacuums, have proper grammar, and never ever do the hand thingy. So I want to dedicate this video to my classmates because our year got cut off due to the coronavirus and so it was really sad that we couldn't spend more time to make more memories but it is what it is so shout out to you guys. Oh, Steven, let's hold hands. What?